hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here and today we have an unboxing. And this unboxing I think is from this company. So I'm going to tear into it to see if I'm correct. Um, so I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. So let's see what's in this packaging here. And it, I think it's what I, I think it's the company I'm thinking of. I think it's DIY Home Over. So that bag is empty. One, two, three, four, five. And I think it's from this company. So I got five kits and DIY Home Over is a, a company I saw pop up on my newsfeed on Facebook and I had never tried them. So I wanted to give them a try. So we're gonna take a look to see what we got here. And I'll tell you the prices of everything. You know how we do this. So this might be another good place to get snack paintings. Now this did take a little bit to get here, but do keep in mind that the post office right now at this current time is a little bit slowed down because of the pandemic that's going on. So if you're watching this in the future and the pandemic's over, congrats that you are done with it. So with that said, we're gonna get in here get rid of that I don't need that so this should be the beauty DIY full drill square diamond painting and it says it's a 30 by 40 which I'm gonna guess is the entire drilling area I don't know if you can see the beautiful lady's face right there so I'm gonna pull this back a little bit it does have poured glue We're just going to lay that back flat so we can flatten this out a little bit. We're going to pull this up. And again, this is a square kit. Now, you don't find many companies that sell the square kits like this. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, yeah, I definitely have to try this out. So it says it's a 30 by 40, and we're going to measure the pasting area because we're not pasting the entire canvas, just the pasting area. So I have 33 and a half by 24 inches. So again, the 30 by 40 size is not the true size. That is the entire piece of canvas here. It's not the drilling area. The drilling area is a little bit shorter, but that's okay. This canvas cost me $10 and it has, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. It has the legend on not only the top here, but a bottom down here. You do get your pumpkin spice toolkit with, uh, I think there's literally two baggies, one plate of wax, a pink pen, and a green boat with no spout. Uh, here are the drills for this. And you don't often see canvases like this in square. So when I saw this, I, I wanted to check it out. And it, of course, it comes in the good bags. Now, these bags are what I call the good bags. These bags don't typically tend to have a lot of trash, if any. Um, so you can see the drill quality here. So we're not seeing any knobbly bits or anything like that in these drills. You see a little bit of something right there. We're gonna look at some dark colored drills because sometimes the dark colored dr drills give us the most issue. So I am seeing a little bit of tabs and stuff in there, but we'll have to wait and see how that works up. So we have, and the DMC codes are on them. So we have 152, 154, and they're in numerical order. So 223, 224, 310, 317, 318, 335. Let's see, this has 20 colors in it. So number nine. 10, 8, 18 is number 11, 12, 13 is this 30, 41, 30, 42, 37, 21, 37, 40, 37, 43, that 37, 78, 37, 99, and 38, 34. Like I said, the drills do look good. There are a couple that might give us fits, but they typically give you enough to complete the kit. Looks like we have one in there that's not practicing social distancing. If you can see him trying to hide in there, he's not slick. We see you. So the drill quality looks, it looks okay. Um, again, we won't know until we put them down on the canvas if they will be okay or not. But like I said, I'm not seeing anything that's going to cause too much grief. 
um, the knob, the, the little bits that I'm seeing on the edge here looks like they were cut off that way. So I don't think that this would actually pop. I think that was their way of trying to make sure that it didn't by the way they cut it. Um, again, we have two more here that aren't practicing social distancing. Um, but for the most part, the drills do look really good. They look clean. They're not staticky. So, and like I said, the legend is on the bottom and top of this kit. So, so far, so good. This kit looks really good. Uh, the identifying factor. So, if you were to put this away, would you be able to find the drills if you store them separately? So, at the top here, it just says, because uh, this is something I always look for, because sometimes I will have to store my canvases separately from my diamonds. So, at the top here, it says JFO, JF006. So, and on the drills here, you'll see that it says, oh, you got to focus. JF006. So if you were to store these away from each other, you would be able to tell which one is which. So that's always a plus. So yeah, so this is going to be another one of those places that you can get really good snack size paintings from that aren't going to break the bank. So let's move on to our next kit. So we're going to get out the next kit. All right, so we got our next kit here. So let's take a look. So far, so good. I mean, I'm, I, I, I don't count out these little places that sell the snack size paintings because they usually do have really good uh, canvases and the, the sometimes the canvases are a little wrinkled, but you can easily like flatten that out with like ironing it or just laying a warm towel or something on top of it to get those wrinkles out. The drill quality is usually really good. So never count out these small companies that you can get these snack size paintings from. So our next kit, let's see what we have on this one. Alright, the next kit is Enjoying Women DIY Full Drill Diamond Painting. This one was free, so I think they had a sale where you can buy so many, get some, uh, you get one free. Pumpkin Spice Toolkit, this one doesn't even have the uh, baggies in it, probably because it's already in baggies. One thing about these companies is a lot of them aren't consistent, so you will get like a mix match of different things. So this one already comes bagged up, it is a round. The legend is on both sides. So you have the legend here and the legend here. Oh, we got to check the drill field. Let's check the drill field because that's what I forgot to do on the first one. Those six looks a little iffy. But I obviously can tell that there are sixes. Trying to decide whether or not that's my phone blurry or if it's actually blurry. So the number fives are a little off, but you can tell the difference between those, the fours, and the twos that are also blue, it looks like. Um... But the number sixes are bold black lines. So even though they're blurry, you'll still be able to tell which is which. And we're going to roll this the other way. And it is pork glue, so you can roll it the other way to flatten it out a little bit. So we're going to try to flatten this out a little bit. There we go. We're also going to pull this plastic back. It is tacky. And this one up here just says it's called sleep. So it just looks like a woman waking up from like a nap or something. Um, I do have another image like this that I got from Amazon. So we're just going to try to flatten that out as best that we can. So it looks really good. Again, the... the uh, the some of the symbols are just a tad blurry. So you might want to watch out for that. Uh, I did notice also there's no DMC code, so you don't know what the DMC code is, but the baggies are numbered, so it tells you what baggies go to which number, but there's no DMC codes, so if you were to store these, you could store them in the baggies that they're already in, and, uh, maybe worry about matching them to the colors later. I do know, of course, that number one is going to be, uh, some of these drills are, like, in the top of this bag. I, I knew number six is going to be 310. Number one looks like 5200, which is this one here. So if you have that DMC color book uh, from Amazon, you would be able to match your drills to whatever DMC code that they would be. So 
this one, you know, I, I don't mind it not having the DMC code. It just makes it a little bit of a pain whenever you're working on it to make sure you're putting down the right color or if you run out of a color, which on these little snack size paintings, I've done a couple of them and I've never run out of a color before. So all the, the drills are there. Again, they're round. Let's take a look at the quality of the drills. Round drills don't tend to give you too many hiccups. So those actually look really, really good. Look at another color. Yeah, so those look good. So minus for this one, minus the fact that it doesn't have the DMC codes on the bag or on the canvas. Uh, the kit's not too bad. Again, you're going to have to watch for those uh, blurry symbols because it, it does have a couple of blurry symbols. And again, this canvas was free because I'm guessing I got part of that, like buy one or buy so many and get one free. So for those folks that, you know, are a little frugal with their diamond painting or don't want to spend a whole lot, this might be a good canvas for you. Again, identifying numbers are a big thing for me. So L588 and at the top here, L588. Um, I'm going to guess that this one also is not going to be a 30 by 40 like it's supposed to be. Yeah, the, the one I got was buy four, get one free. So I just saw that on top of the thing here. Um, so yeah, this is 32 and a half by 23 so it's not true to size but uh it is still it, it is still pretty good kit again the blurry symbols and the dmc codes are obviously going to be a pain in the butt but it's not something that you can't do so let's see if the next kit will improve so let's get to the over to the next kit all right so here's our next kit so let's see what we got in this one so you get a good variety for your price. So for all of these all together, I paid $35. And then with shipping, it was shipping was $7.99. I paid $42.99 all together. And I got five paintings. And I think they're about all the same size. I think they're all about 30 by 40. Or uh, they're supposed to be 30 by 40. But of course, they're going to be a little bit shorter than advertised, which it's a thing when you get little uh, snack paintings like this. It's That's their usual thing that they do, I guess. So let's see what this one is. I do wish that they were a little bit more consistent with it, meaning like one's in baggies, one's in the good bags. You never know what you're going to get, so you got to be careful with these snack size paintings. So let's see what we got here. Oh, we have our Steampunk Wolf, it says, and it says fully jeweled. I don't, I don't know. So this is a, actually a 30 by 30. Oh, you guys, it has the symbol I hate. Does anybody else hate? Okay, so question of the video, because I haven't done one of these in a while. Is there a symbol in particular that you hate working with? Write it down in the comment section below if you got this far into the video and didn't skip around. So, one of the symbols I absolutely hate working with, the A&E symbol. This is not daytime TV. Why do they have to put this A&E symbol? I hate it. Um, and then they, of course, have the letter B as well. Again, the kit is a 30 by 30. It has a legend on both sides, so I at least give them that. I do not see DMC code, so that's kind of, you know, sad. But it is a fully jeweled wolf. It says wolf, but it looks more like a fox to me. If it looks like a fox to you, you know, give me a thumbs up there. So, let's see what the drill quality looks like. And this is also a round. Also, have you tried DIY home over? Like, tell me how your experience was. So here is my, they look dusty. Like, this is supposed to be f number four, which is the A&E symbol. So it's going to be like the 310 symbol. They look really dusty. Like, they've been sitting in somebody's attic for too long. That is concerning. Let's see how the rest of them look. And again, you don't have DMC numbers, so you're not sure which is which, so you would have to match them with your DMC code book. So the rest of them look nice and clean. It's just those three tens that look a little dusty to me. There's somebody's not practicing social distancing. You got chocolate right there. I'm gonna guess it's not a three third, it's not a 3371. This would be more like a 3371. I'm not sure what that color would be. You got a peach. I think this is like a burgundy almost so it has a lot of muted tone colors for this kit i really liked it because it looks like a little steampunk fox 
So the colors in it don't look too bad. It does have 20 colors in it. It looks like all the drills are there and accounted for. Those blacks look a little dusty to me, like they just had a long, long life. So we're going to measure this one to see if it's true to size. First, real quick, let's take a look at the drill field. Because um, as far as I can tell, I'm trying to get some of that glare off of it. The symbols look all right on this kit. I'm not seeing anything blurry. The A and E, the B and the M are going to like make me go cross-eyed because they look like they're about the same color. And I'm pretty happy with the fact that they're consistent on the fact that the legend is on both sides. So it's a really cute kit. So let's get our measuring tape out to see if it measures 30 by 30, which I'm sure it's not going to, but we're going to check just in case. You never know. So we got a little bit of a Nick before 25. And up, up, right there. And that's also a Nick or two before 25. So it's going to be 30 by 30. It's going to be the, the entire canvas, not the drilling area. Again, the drill quality looks really good, minus those dusty blacks. Um, the symbol quality looks like it's there. Again, with these co these companies like this, you're, you're going to have like a touch and go. Some of them are going to be really good. Some of them are going to be a little so-so. But either way, you'll save your, your money on these. So this kit here cost me $7. So we're going to put this one away. Oh, and you also got your pumpkin spice toolkit. Didn't even come with baggies, but you got a little plate of wax, a green boat, and a pen. Y'all don't care about that. So we're going to put this away, and next we'll bring out the next kit for you guys. So you ready? All right, so our next kit. So let's see what we have in this one. So for $42, I have to say it's, it's not a bad deal to get a couple of diamond paintings. Uh, so you can either get one really good premium painting for that price or five mediocre ones. But still, the quality isn't too bad. And if you're, you know, just need something to hold you over until you get your other kits in, they're not bad. I don't mind snack size paintings. Um, so we're going to, this one's in plastic. And again, the consistency is not there, which kind of drives you nuts. But they are packaged well enough that they didn't come damaged, even for as long as they sat in uh, waiting for them to get here. This is a Four Seasons Landscape. So it says Landscape DIY Full Drill Diamond Painting. So of course you have your summer, winter, fall, and what? Summer, winter, fall. What am I missing? Summer, winter, fall, spring. Thank you, Minna. Spring. Uh, Y'all know I got my life together. I'll get it together one day. So this one does have DMC codes and it also has a legend on both sides. We're gonna pull this back. Again, it's poured glue, so I do like the consistency that they are poured glue. So we're going to try to put that plastic back on there nice and flat. There we go. I always love when they put those directions on it up here. So it says tips. As product is a manual drilling method, there are many. There may be some missing diamonds. If such a situation occurs, please contact us. We will reply to you within 24 hours or until you're satisfied. So these little companies are good at getting back to you. They have they have pretty decent customer service. I, I can't you know deny that. Uh, you're gonna get your pumpkin spice toolkit again. The wax. The this one kind of melted off to the side there. Your pen. Your baggies. Your green boat. Y'all don't care about that. So. We do have the legend on both sides of this kit. Again, this is what it's going to look like. We do have the legend on both sides. Let's take a look at the drill. Oh, you're blurry. Take a look at the drill field here. So we got the number twos down here. We got E's and M's. Five. F. Six. So the symbol clarity doesn't look too bad. It looks a little faded in areas. I can't tell if that's a, sh yeah, that's just the shine from the sun outside. But it doesn't look too bad. Now you might have to use your light pad on these, which what, oh, I, was about to say, I thought that I saw an N and an F. I was about to say, please don't do that to me. Um, you might have to use your light pad with these, which is why you have them in the first place. Um, so, so far the quality is not too bad. Let's take a look at the diamonds, and they do come in the good baggies. You can always tell the good baggies because they have that sh that gray strip on them, or they see they say PB and J or something on them. Um, those drills tend not to have a lot of trash, and they tend not to uh, be really bad quality either. So they're not too bad. 
plus not everybody not every, some people ball on a budget and these are good paintings for if you're balling on a budget we're gonna take a moment of silence for the drill that tried to go home from social distancing and just didn't make it um and all right so we got uh some uh scrambled eggs here with one that's not practicing social distancing but it's trying to hide but we caught it we caught it so these don't have the dmc number on them but the dmc number is on the canvas so you will be able to store these away if you need to i also see the canvas number on the drill pack as well um so when you put when you store these in your storage container when you're getting ready to do this canvas you will be able to have the dmc codes to be able to put these away i'm gonna guess this is like 741 or 742 uh number seven on the bag here is number seven on the kit which is awesome um, 741, so I was kind of right there, I said 741. So I do like the fact that they use numbers 1 through 9, and then A, E, X, F, F K, M, H, N, and D for the legend. Um, and the numbers correspond to the numbers on the kit. So number 7 here is number 7 on the kit, number 6, number 5, or number 5 and number 6 on the kit. So that's really, really good. I love it when they do that, because that just makes your job so much easier. So we have number 9. Number 10 looks like hot tamales. We got number 11 here. Number 12, which is 822. Don't mind the slamming doors because the wind is blowing their doors shut. Number 13 looks like smashed peas. We got number 14 here. We got number 15, which looks like 995. Boom, I was right, 995. Yes, I'm getting better. Number 16 here. 17, which looks like 3371, which I am correct. And number 18, which looks like 3821, which is what it says. All right, so it has 18 colors. Let's take a look at the drill quality. And we know it's not going to measure the size. It's going to be a little bit off, but that's okay. As long as you can drill something and make something beautiful, that's all that matters here. And the drills look really good. As you can tell, this is a round. So for this kit, I, I literally, we're going to give them a, a star rating when we're done. So this kit looks really, really good. I really like it. Um, again, it's the Four Seasons. They call it Landscape. Um, on the top here, it doesn't even have a name. It just has a canvas number. This kit here cost me $9. And don't worry, all the pricing and stuff will pop up on the side as I'm talking. So I probably should have said that earlier on because you've already seen it by now. But either way, at any least, she has a lot of work ahead of her. So we're going to get rid of this kit and we're going to bring out I think the last kit. So let's see what the last kit holds for us. All right, last one. So this last one, I'm actually pretty excited to see because it's supposed to be a lovely flower and butterfly combo. So let's see how we get into this one. It just got... Ugh. Ugh. Forget it, we're just gonna get the tweezers to it. So if nothing else, they do bag them very well. So they get to you undamaged. So let's see here. Holy 5200. All right, so I see that A&E symbol already. Whoa. That's a di different size. So it says it's a 30 by 48. Good God. Okay, let's let's check that. Because I obviously know it's not going to be a 30 by 48. Uh, pumpkin spice tool kit, same as the others. Um, so let's see here. Where is... There we go. We're gonna do it this way. So I have 24 by, and you gotta lay these things flat because that having that bump in them will cause it to be shorter. 42, oh, nope, hold on, let me bring that down. 41 and a half, so I have 24 by 41 and a half, so it's not true to size, it's the entire canvas itself. Um, but as you can see, it's flowers with butterflies. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. I thought that was really pretty. Um, let's look at the symbol clarity. And again, it has that A&E. It is my arch nemesis, y'all. I swear, A&E is my arch nemesis. I'm not the biggest fan of A&E. Um, but it has like the little parentheses thing here. And then the S. We have G and P and question mark and the hashtag percent signs it looks for the most part like the symbols might not give you any issue uh there's looks like there's something here that i can't tell oh that's a percent sign um but yeah the, the symbols look clear i don't think i'm gonna have any trouble with the symbols on this kit um 
Let's see here. So your your symbol list is on both sides. Again, this is a different size. I've never gotten anything that said to be a 30 by 48. So it does have 23 colors. Uh, no DMC code present on the canvas. No DMC code present on the drills as well. This also is a round. Uh, it Canvas number is H3, HG337. So that is correspondent to the ones on the drills here. So again, we're going to open this up. So again, if you remember I said about the PB and J, it doesn't say PB and J, I'm sorry. I knew it said P and J or something. PJ, these ones are the really good ones. You rarely ever find trash. They usually have immaculate drills. I really love when they say P and J on them because I know I'm going to have a good experience. So the drill quality does look really, really good. Nice bright colors in this one. All the oranges and peaches. This one looks like 310 right there, which I'm going to guess is that A&E color. Is this going to be the A&E color number 5? Yep, it's the A&E color, so I'm going to guess that's a number 10. And then, I don't know if there's any 5200, but this would be close to 5200. No, they're all catty wampus. So yeah, so the drill quality doesn't look bad. Take a look closer. It looks like grits, don't it? If you know what grits are. If you don't, I think some people call it porridge. Anyways, um... The drill quality doesn't look bad. I'm not seeing anything that's going to cause me any trouble. There are some that aren't practicing social distancing. It says the teal that's in there. That's supposed to be over there. So there's nothing in there that's going to cause me any trouble completing this kit. This kit cost me $9. So I'm going to put this one, or I'm going to get the other ones out to show you. We'll have final thoughts, and then I'll let you guys go. You ready? All right, so we have all five kits, I believe, out here. So we're going to take a look at that first quick kit again because this was the square that I got. And I don't know if it told you if it was a square or not. I don't think it did. No, yeah, it did. It did. So looking at the symbol clarity on this one, because we did miss this one, it looks like the symbol clarity is there. I like to look over a couple different spots here. They are blurry here, and I believe that's letter D. So we do know the letter D is a little bit, it might be a little bit hard for you to see. Again, use your light pad. You should have no trouble at all. If you don't have a light pad, try using your phone or an overhead light. That might also help. But uh, I have to say, if I had to rate each kit, this kit here, uh, they get a knocked. Let's see. can't remember if it had DMC code. Yeah, this one had the DMC code on the drills, not the canvas itself. So I would give this one a five out of five. Uh, symbol clarity seems to be there. Uh, even though it doesn't, well, we'll give it a four out of five because it doesn't measure to size. So that one's not a bad kit there. This next one we're going to look at is going to be the Four Seasons. This one had good clarity of symbols. Uh, the legend on both sides, which I do like the fact that they've put it, the legend on both sides. Even though it's a smaller painting, it is nice to have the legend on both sides. The drill quality looked really good. Uh, this one did not have DMC. Oh, it does have DMC codes on the canvas itself. So it gets a four out of five because it, it, it's not true to size. So we don't give it the full five out of five. Um, again, don't count out these companies that sell these snack size paintings. These paintings are paintings that will get you over in a pinch whenever you're waiting for other paintings to come in. So yeah, I don't count out these paintings. Now this one gives a three out of five because it doesn't me measure to size. It also does not have DMC codes on it, but that's okay because it's a tiny painting. You can probably finish this painting in about two days. So uh, if you really go game busters on this, this is something that is really quick and easy and work up really fast. So we're going to put that one away. This next one here is the Sleepy Lady. I'm not too sure about this kit. Um, it didn't have DMC codes, but it was in baggies. So they get a three and a half out of five because it well, it did come in baggies. And you guys must know Miss Coffee love her baggies. But the symbol clarity was a little iffy on this kit. And I don't like the big bold lines. Like, I don't know how you guys can see it. But looking at it, like, straight on, it has, like, really bold black lines. And I'm just kind of like, eh, don't really know about that. So I'm not I'm not sure about the big bold line. So I'd have to give this a three and a half out of five because it did come in baggies, and y'all know I love my baggies. You can easily put the DMC codes on it. So uh, that one gets a three and a half out of five. And then this last one here, no DMC codes on the drills or the canvas. The canvas clarity is there. It doesn't measure the true to size, so it gets a three out of five. But overall, I would say it's a solid three and a half out of five for these kits. 
Again, the price points was there. It was buy four, get one free. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long I waited for these kits. So give me one second so I can try to see if I can figure it out. Okay, so I figured it out. So I ordered, these were ordered on, and it'll pop up on the screen for you guys so you're not sitting here listening to me. These were ordered on May 3rd. They shipped out May 6th. And I received them here uh, July 24th. Now, I did contact the company because it had been a long time. Again, when I contact companies, it's usually because it's taken at least four more months or more to get the kits. They asked me to be patient. And it was another one of those times where I contacted the company and not like, but hours later it moved. And I was just like, that's not a coincidence. So, if you have a canvas that is taking an extremely long time to process, and I mean, when I say long, I mean four, four to five months, anything more than four months, contact the company to see if they have any tracking for your item, because this item did sit still and did not move for a good two months. So, I contacted the company and asked them, had they seen anything or heard anything about my kits? They asked me to be a little bit more patient. I went ahead and was like, all right, cool, I'll be patient. I'll give it another week. And sure enough, within a couple of days, boom, it had came in. So, uh, it did take a little bit to get here. Uh, the canvases are still in good shape. So, they, like I said, they get like a three out of five because... They don't measure the size. Some of them don't have DMC codes. Some of them do have blurry symbols. So I'm being generous here and giving it a three out of five. But if you're bowling on a budget, these are definitely some kits I would say look into. If you've never tried DIY, it's not home over, but it looks like home over. So we're going to call it home over. If it's not home over, don't come at me in the comments, okay? Um, Y'all be brutal in those comment sections. I'm just telling you. So yeah, so I honestly would say give this company a try. They have some decent snack size paintings and you can really rack up, especially with their buy four, get one free special. You can get a decent stash going with some of these snack size paintings because not all paintings have to be super huge, folks. But with that said, folks, I'm now going to have to bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys. <laughs>